Hello children, in this video we are going to see the concept of fractions. The concept of fractions. First, the chain of half. What is half? If you take an apple and ask to cut into two equal parts, see here, we are taking an apple and we are asking them to cut it into two equal parts, two equal parts. Each part is called as half. Okay, this part is called as half and this part is also called as half. If you take an apple and if you divide into two equal parts, then each part is called as a half. When you divide something into two equal parts, each part is called as half. We all know this. Half means one out of two equal parts. One out of two equal parts. See, one out of two equal parts. Both should be equally divided. It is written as 1 by 2. 1 is nothing but number of parts taken. Number of parts taken. See this one. Number of parts taken. 2 is nothing but number of equal parts. Number of equal parts. Both. This both. 1, 2. So this one you are representing here and this one is nothing but this one. So when you cut an apple into two equal parts, each part is called as half. Okay. 1 by 2. We represent it as 1 by 2. Num up 1 is number of parts taken and 2 is number of equal parts. And you also can tell upper number as numerator and down number, this 2, as denominator. And the middle line which divides both the numbers is called as fraction bar or division bar. This bar is called as fraction bar or division bar. And this upper number is called as numerator and the down number is called as denominator. See here, in a sheet, they have divided into two equal parts and one part is shaded. One part is shaded. So what is the fraction for this? The fraction for this is 1 by 2. How 1 by 2? The whole part is divided into two equal parts. So two equal parts. So down you are representing two, one, two. Which part is shaded now? One part is shaded. So one by two. If you, if you want to find the shaded part, then the fraction is one by two for this. Next, see here, one third, one third. Take a strip of paper Try to cut into three equal parts. Always remember you have to cut it equally. Three equal parts. If you cut into three equal parts, see, see here a strip is cut into three equal parts. Each part is called as one by three. One by three. Each, called as, each part is called as one third. One third. One third is represented as one by three. Up is nothing but number of parts taken and down number is number of equal parts. See, three equal parts you are cutting. So, we, we are writing it down three. So, this is one, no? So, we are writing it up. Number of parts taken. See, one part is taken. One part is taken by what number of equal parts? Three. Okay, number of equal parts will come down and part taken will come up. That is nothing but number of parts taken is numerator and number of equal parts is denominator. See here, in a sheet, they have divided into three equal parts and they are telling how much is the coloring, coloring area. Like we have to find the shaded part. We have to find the shaded part area. We have to find shaded part in fraction, okay. So a paper is divided into three equal parts and they have shaded with yellow color here. We have to find the fraction for them. What will be the fraction? One by three will be the fraction. See, one, two, three. Three parts they have divided equally. So we are writing it down. And which part is shaded? Only one part is shaded. So we are writing it as one up as a numerator, okay. Next. Quarter or one-fourth. Quarter or one-fourth means what? See here, this is cake. This cake is divided into four equal parts. It is divided into four equal parts. Vasu takes one part. He is taking one part. He has taken quarter of a cake. So now in whole cake, they have divided into 
four equal parts in that one one part he had taken that is quarter part he had taken when you divide something into four equal parts each part is called as quarter okay when you divide a whole into four equal parts each part is called as quarter or one fourth you can call it as quarter or one fourth quarter or one fourth means one out of four one out of four equal parts okay all should be equally divided that is important see here how you will represent 1 by 4 one fourth quarter is represented as 1 by 4 one is nothing but number of parts taken see here he had taken one part out of how many out of four he had taken one part so it it is nothing but 1 by 4 this one part is called as 1 by 4 in fraction each part will be 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 see here what fraction of each has been shaded here see here one part is shaded here one out of four in a paper they have divided into four equal parts one part is shaded we have to find the fraction for this so which part is shaded means how what will be the answer 1 by 4 will be the answer 1 by 4 is the answer or else quarter also you can tell fraction of this shaded part this shaded part in this shaded part is 1 by 4 okay fractions fraction is a part of a whole okay we have to remember that fraction is a part of a whole it represents one or more equal parts of the whole okay it represent one or more equal parts of the whole see here when one whole is divided into two equal parts each part is called as half when one whole is divided into two equal parts see here one whole is divided into two equal parts each part is called as half when one whole is divided into three equal parts each part is called as one third see here when one whole is divided into three equal parts like this this is one circle in this they have divided into three equal parts this is a strip of paper they have divided into three equal parts each part is called as one third and when a whole is divided into four equal parts each part is called as quarter each part is called as quarter half will represent 1 by 2 one third we can write it as 1 by 3 and quarter is nothing but 1 by 4 these are called as fractions these are called as fractions and you have to remember that upper number is a numerator and the down number is a denominator i hope you all understood the concept of fraction yes children thank you bye bye